Ah! <sighs> Rainbow Dash woke up, her mind engulfed with the extremes, both fear and in desire, indescribable pain tearing away at her senses. Everything she touched, every time she moved, she triggered the nerves around her exposed flesh, blazing her with wave upon wave of the scolding pain she had suffered for days. The poor Pegasus had not slept an hour for weeks. Every time she closed her eyes, all she could see was her, neck vic was her victims laid on the ground before her, covered in blood and gore, staring at her just like they did when they watched their lives flash before their eyes. Rainbow Dash wanted to cry, but she had no tears. She couldn't move an inch. She wanted it all to end, but she was incapable of doing anything. The pain was just too great. With one ear shattering squeal, she used what will she had left to turn her head to look at the puddle of tears on the floor. She saw her horribly disfigured face reflected in the water below. Her mane was scorched black, the once vibrant rainbow colors barely visible under the charred coating. Her wings were burnt to the bone, the tendons and muscles exposed to the wisps of cool air brushing against them. Her eye was also nothing but a huge cavity in her skull. A gust of wind then ran across her body, lightly brushing against the open wound in her head. The feeling tipped her over the edge, and she then emptied the contetta of her stomach onto the ground. How she was still alive was a miracle in itself. Lack of food, water, and sleep had caused her body to almost shut down. She could feel herself slowly dying. She lifted her head. Lifted her head. She felt no pain. At first, she thought she had finally gotten her wish. Her wish that all the pain and suffering would end. She had no longer. She had longed for peace for so long. But then the voices came back. N n no, she uttered, barely holding onto consciousness. She spat out the remains of vomit in her mouth before looking around her, searching for something to end her misery while she could still move. Why won't you let me die? What do you want with me? This time, the voices started to mumble, barely able to hear what they were saying. Rainbow Death Dash breathed deeply before screaming. What do you want with me? You want to kill some pony? Kill me! What are you waiting for? Rainbow's attitude had come back. Her rage began to consume the fear that she had suffered with for months. She had had enough, and she was willing to fight back. And then it spoke. Die. Dash's heart sank as she began to feel the burning pain return to her body. Her anger was still strong in her heart, and she gritted her teeth, fighting the urge to scream in agony, not wanting to give the cruel beast any pleasure. It, is that all you got? Is that all you have to threaten me with? Die! Rainbow Dash felt her hooves start to move by themselves. There was nothing she could do but hold back her screams as she was forced to walk on the rocky ground beneath her. Every pebble, every particle of dust was pressed against the burnt flesh on her body, reigniting the fires in her nerves. Weak. N n no. Pathetic. No. Uh, stop. Her tortured body was forced to walk step by step fear once again replacing her anger as she slowly moved closer and closer towards the large stone wall. She closed her eyes, praying, begging her evil mind for mercy. Nothing happened. Just then, she threw herself against the wall in front of her, soon to be followed by the wail of pure agony. Every millisecond was as unbearable as the last. Her body completely consumed by the torture only heard in the most gruesome of stories. 
It didn't stop. She soon found herself being thrown against the wall again, rocks and splinters piercing her flesh and grinding against the frayed surfaces of her muscles and bones. Give in. Before Rainbow Dash could answer, her hoof grabbed her mane and started slamming her head repeatedly against the wall. It was too much. Her mind couldn't cope. Her throat burned as she screamed. All she could do was watch as her flesh and bone was blood and was splattered onto the wall, her cheekbones grinding against the solid rock. Give in, and the pain will stop. Rainbow Dash continued to scream hysterically as she was beaten furiously. Her vision blurred, time seemed to slow down, and her body was getting numb. She could feel herself slipping away. All she wanted was to feel peace again, like she felt when Applejack held her in her arms. The night before Rainbow Dash killed her. She slowly started to close her eyes, tears welling up in her left and pain throbbing in the right. Slowly and faintly, she whispered to herself as she embraced the inevitable. I... I give in. Later that night, as the moon was loomed over the depths of the Everfree Forest, Twilight, Fluttershy, Rarity, and Spike were searching everywhere for the Blue Pegasus, not knowing where she is or if they were already being watched. The long journey through the raging storm had washed off their disguises and soaked their manes making it harder to focus on their surroundings. Fluttershy could barely see as she strayed close to her friends, Angel not far behind. She kept looking over her shoulder, jumping at every noise she heard. Twilight? Fluttershy stammered, clearly terrified. What is it, Fluttershy? Are you okay? N no I, I feel like... Something's watching me. Fluttershy scooted closer to Rarity, who was using her magic to illuminate their surroundings. We have to stop, Twilight. Rarity complained. We've been walking for hours. All right. Over there, under the trees. We'll rest there. Everyone followed Twilight to the dry patch of grass, where there was plenty of trees to shield them from the rain. As they sat down, they could see that dawn was only a few hours away. We can't rest for too long. We need to move if we're going to find somewhere to hide. Rarity looked up at Twilight. How can you do it? She asked. Do what? Act so... calm. Like nothing's happened. How can you do it? Twilight? Shh! A brief moment of silence was then interrupted by a sudden rustle in the bushes behind them. They all turned around, terror in their eyes, as they saw the shaking bushes in the darkness. Who's there? Twilight yelled, standing in front of her friends. Is that you, Rainbow? Come out! Just then, Angel jumped out of the darkness eating a small piece of carrot. Angel! Fluttershy gasped as she ran to her pet. Don't you ever, ever, ever do that again! I was worried sick! As she picked up the frilly bunny, Twilight shouted, Don't move! Fluttershy froze, not moving a muscle. Why? She whimpered. Just don't move. Rarity walked up to Twilight, and frowned. Twilight, what are you doing? You're scaring her. Something isn't right. It's just a carrot. And since when did carrots grow in the forest, freshly chopped? Rarity stopped and looked at Angel. Don't move, Fluttershy! Rarity yelled. Fluttershy whimpered. Whoa. What's going on? 
Twilight slowly started walking toward Fluttershy, closely examining the carrot Angel was nibbling on. I think it's a trap. Fluttershy, can you see anything weird with the carrot he's eating? Fluttershy slowly tilted her head down to look at her white pet. Then she saw something particular. The, there's a piece of string tied onto the carrot. Oh, what, what do I do? Don't do anything. Just put him down and come back here. I, I can't. What if he gets hurt? Rarity shouted. We don't have time for this. You have to put him down. Rainbow Dash could be watching us now. I can't. You have to. I, I can't. I can't move. Fluttershy began to sob, her legs frozen with fear. Twilight crept forward, watching every step she took before she could see the string wrapped around the carrot. As she leaned forward to grab Angel, to grab it, Angel began to frown, knowing what she was going to do. Come on, Angel. Give it to me. Before she could snatch the vegetable from his hands, the furly bunny leapt out of Fluttershy's hands, pulling the string. Suddenly, the ground beneath them suddenly swept them both off their feet. Spike and Rarity were quick to run to help their friends as they were dragged through the trees and bushes of the Everfree Forest. Rarity managed to grab the net with her teeth before using all of her strength to try and slow it down. But nothing happened. Even with Spike using all of his strength, there was nothing they could do to slow it down as they were then pulled into a dark cave. And then, just as quick as it had happened, the net seemed to just vanish as they all fell into a pit, screaming and wailing as they all fell into the darkness. Everything was a blur as the yellow pegasus slowly woke up with a dull ringing in her ears. At first, she couldn't see a hoof in front of her face, but as soon as her eyes adjusted to the darkness, she could see she was surrounded by tall stone walls with a tiny light in the distance. Does it twilight? She whimpered, confused, not knowing if her friends were dead or alive. Spike? Rarity? Angel? Something then poked her flank. She screeched before running up against the nearest wall. As she turned, she could see that it was Angel answering her call. Oh. Oh my. Don't do that! You scared me! Angel frowned before a silent uh, groan was heard throughout the walls. Twilight? Twilight, is that you? Uh, Fluttershy? Where are you? I'm in here! Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. Just then, Rarity's voice echoed through the walls. Twilight, you're okay! Spike, where's Spike? Fluttershy looked behind her. Nobody was there. He's not here! Rarity? No, he's not here either. Fluttershy didn't need to see through the walls to see if Twilight was losing it. No, no! Spike, where are you? Twilight! Rarity yelled through the walls. Calm down. He's probably already awake. What if he set off without us? What if he... <gasps> what if Rainbow Dash has him? Rarity, Fluttershy, can you find your way out? I can see a light in the distance, Fluttershy said. I can see a white light too, Rarity shouted. Twilight paused before saying, That makes three of us. All right, every pony. That light is probably the exit to the cave. We'll regroup there and pray that Spike is all right. Okay, Twy. Rarity shouted. N no, w wait. Before Fluttershy could finish her sentence, she could hear her friends galloping away. T Twilight. Rarity. Oh no, I'm, I'm alone. 
just as tears started welling up in her eyes, Angel jumped onto her back and stroked her mane. Oh, Angel. I know you won't leave me. Okay. Come on. Let's get back with the others. After taking a deep breath, Fluttershy squinted and slowly pulled one hoof in front of the other, making her way towards the faint light in the distance. Fluttershy's heart was beating in her chest as the fear clouded her mind and as the adrenaline flooded in her veins. She could feel her pet rabbit tightly clutching her mane. It's... it's okay, Angel. I'm... everything is going to be fine. Just then, a tiny rock fell in front of her, making a loud pop echo throughout the cave. Fluttershy regained her composure before walking past the pu puddle. See? Nothing's gonna hurt. Shh! Fluttershy screeched. She darted for the nearest wall and curled up into a ball. As she slowly opened her eyes, she could see the little white bunny in front of her. Angel holds Fluttershy to comfort her as she nuzzles the white bunny. Oh, Angel, I don't know what to do what I would do if you weren't here. Angel? The normally stubborn white rabbit was looking past her with fear painfully clear in his eyes. Fluttershy knew something was behind her and slowly turned only to see a disturbing sight accompanied by an equally horrific smell. On the wall was large letters written in thick, fresh blood, saying the words, Where can you run if there's nowhere to hide? Fluttershy gasped in horror. She began to breathe heavily as she slowly backed away from the gory text. Crunch. Fluttershy winced before opening her eyes again. She couldn't see where the noise came from. As she tried to walk away, though, one of her hooves struck something. She turned around to see the sharp metallic teeth of a steel bear trap clamped around her leg. She just stared at the steel, steel apparatus as blood began to pour from the mangled limb. Poor Fluttershy had never experienced pain any worse than a bee sting. She didn't know how to react. At first, she started to breathe heavily. Then her breaths came, became loud gasps of air as she could feel her heart pounding away in her chest. And then she began to scream hysterically, just as the pain finally registered in her mind. She began yanking at her leg, trying desperately to loosen the painful grip that trapped her. The pain was indescribable. She began to feel physically sick at the sharp teeth started grinding against her bones. The pain was made only worse as she pulled harder and harder. Hello? Fluttershy stopped struggling, tears flowing from her eyes as she tried to focus on where the somewhat chirpy voice came from. Grinding her teeth through her stifling screams, she saw a shadow in the distance walking towards her. Twilight! Rarity! Oh, Celestia! Help me! Gasping for air, trying not to move, she soon saw that what was walking towards her was not Twilight or Rarity. R Rainbow Dash? It was her. Fluttershy could see the mutilated Pegasus limping towards her with a mad grin on her face. Her body covered head to toe in third degree burns, blisters, and molted fur. She'd be completely unrecognizable if it wasn't for that one magenta eye that was staring at her like a lion stares at its prey. Fluttershy gasped as she stared into the cavity 
in her skull where her other eye was supposed to be. Instead, there was nothing but twisted flesh and broken tendons. The sight was all too much for her to bear. She went back to using all the strength and will she had to try and pry her leg free. Peek a boo. <laughs> I see you. <laughs> As the crazed Pegasus got closer to Fluttershy, she could see that her mad grin was the rotten flesh around her mouth, which had been ripped off, giving her a truly disturbing smile. Fluttershy started to hyperventilate, feeling her fear begin to drive her mind into a frenzy. She pulled with all her might, screaming openly into the ceiling until the inevitable happened. Snap. The cave shook with a deathly silence before Fluttershy whimpered, knowing that she just broke her leg. The dull, throbbing pain was soon mixed with the burning sensation that overwhelmed her. Rainbow Dash was only meters away before Angel stood between her and Fluttershy, baring his teeth. But instead of intimidating the Cyan serial killer, Rainbow Dash just started to laugh maniacally. Fluttershy couldn't believe it as her best friend, laughing at her suffering, with the almost demon-like growl in her voice. Rainbow Dash cap on walking towards Fluttershy, enjoying every second of her torture, before Angel leapt forward and jumped onto her burnt back. Rainbow Dash didn't scream. She just let out a deep grunt, maintaining her disturbing grin before she threw her head back and grabbed the rabbit by the neck. Fluttershy watched, completely horrified, as she watched Angel getting thrown around like a rag doll. N n uh, n no, n no, stop it, stop it, please, Angel. Rainbow Dash then threw the rabbit to the ground with one firm swing before placing a hoof over his head. Rainbow Dash stared into Fluttershy's eyes as she pleaded for her to stop. <laughs> Rainbow, p p please, don't hurt him. I'm not Rainbow. She's dead. <laughs> Fluttershy looked into Angel's eyes, seeing the little white rabbit reach out for her. Fluttershy lifted a hoof, doing the same, and ignoring the agony in her leg before closing her eyes. I'm sorry. I'm so, so Scrunch! No! 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 Angel! Rainbow Dash threw Angel to one side, as if he was just a piece of dirt, before walking up to Fluttershy, still holding her smile. Wh wh why Why, Angel? You monster! You monster! What have you done with Rainbow Dash? <laughs> Who are you? Rainbow Dash then spread her wings as she stood on her back legs. Fluttershy could only watch as she saw the Pegasus tower over her. Light shining through her burnt wings as she brought her hoof down on Fluttershy's skull. Rainbow Dash showed no mercy as she repeatedly beat the helpless Pegasus across the head, blood dripping onto the ground as Fluttershy's screams soon turned into faint whines. When Rainbow Dash finally stopped beating the Helpless Pegasus, she flew off into the distance. Fluttershy could see the mutilated Pegasus in the distance staring at her. She didn't understand why she had stopped all of a sudden. But then, a harsh reality hit her as she heard a menacing growl come from behind her. Unable to speak, Fluttershy uses what little energy she has left to tilt her head to see a pack of feral wolves behind her. They could smell her blood, and were probably threatened by the screams and noises they heard. 
Fluttershy was right in the middle of their den. Rainbow Dash's smile grew even larger as she turned away and flew towards the light, listening to the pack behind her, finishing what she had started.